Hey guys, today I have a Kenmore matching washer and electric dryer set. And right now I've got it set on a heavy duty cycle. We're going to be running through, allowing it to fill all the way up with water, which we have set to large load. You can control the water on this one. And we can switch that over to warm or cold. Somewhere right in the middle uses both of those actuators there. And pulling that water in, we've got the center agitator and it's gonna fill all the way up with water and get busy agitating those clothes, which you'll be able to see in here. Once it fills up, I'll show you that it agitates. Then once it's done with the wash cycle, it drains the water out. Then it's gonna fill back up for the rinse cycle. Fill all the way back up with water, rinse, and then spin out on the final spin cycle. So kind of as if you were standing here yourself checking it out, you get to see that everything on it works perfect. That way, you know, when you get it home, plug it in, you're gonna be good to go. And then once it's all done, we'll move the clothes over to the dryer and I'll show you that the dryer is working perfectly. So uh, we'll come back. Okay, we're back. It's full of water now. You've got your center agitator. You're agitating away. And that noise you hear is what I call the agitator kick. And these agitators on this style, the direct drive, you should be able to turn them clockwise and not back counterclockwise. That's how you know it's working correctly. Now, if you can reach in yours and spin it freely in both directions, then your agitator is not actually working correctly. So this goes one direction and then back and then back. And that's where you get that noise there from. And that's how you know it's working correctly. All right, we're switching out of the wash cycle into the rinse cycle and it's draining that water out. You're draining nice and fast, and it's in what's called a neutral drain cycle right now. So it is only draining. And then when it's done, it's going to kick over and spin to extract the soapy water. Then it'll fill all the way back up with fresh water for the rinse cycle. Same thing, it'll neutral drain, and then we'll be on to the final spin, which is what I'll come back for next. All right, final spin cycle. Get that to focus there full speed. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift this up and it's going to shut down. But you can see it's spinning nice and fast. Lid switch works. All right, I'll let that finish up and we'll move over here to the matching electric dryer. All right, we've got the clothes moved over to the dryer. We've got the washer cleaned out. Let's go ahead and close that up. Now we'll come over here. I've got it on time dry high heat setting. You've got a signal switch so you can turn that off if you don't want that going off in the middle of the day. If you kids sleeping and pets, that kind of thing. Um, and then over here you also have an air dry which is no heat. So you have four heat settings then you have an automatic dry as well. You want to make sure your lint trap gets changed out before each and every load and then I'm going to show you that it is heating like it's supposed to. So right in between those two red dots it's taking a surface temperature measurement. It's about 75, 76 degrees on top of the dryer. About 64 on the concrete floor, so we'll go ahead and open this up. You see everything's tumbling, lights working, and then plenty of heat coming out of the heating element tube right there. So the inside of your dryer, it's only going to heat up from about 95 all, all the way up to 195, but this tube right here is where the heat pumps out and it gets pretty hot. You can see plenty of heat there. So the air is going to circulate in here and then go out there where the lint trap can catch any lint debris. And then the air goes out the back of your dryer. Now, when you have this hooked up to a vent hose in your laundry room, you won't be able to hear that blower motor. and It'll be virtually silent. I don't have that set up in here, but as you can see, everything on them works perfect. I'll go ahead and get them listed up for sale. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. And I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.